All right, we just, uh, sorry again for the darkness. These last two videos have had a lot of darkness in them, but we have actually um, just moved the cows over. Elsa, um, of course, we've got Allie, and Elsa's been coming over because she's stationary training. But she actually um, has got tons of discharge. So I think she is, uh, I think she is fist to have this baby. If not tonight, um, tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, the next, I mean, it's in the next, it's gotta be within the next 24 to 48 hours or, or less because she is, she's had a little discharge, but now she is really passing some discharge. So uh, this will be her second calf. So, you know, uh, I mean, don't get wrong. I hope she's able to have it fine. I know anything can go wrong, but she was bred with our smaller bull. So I'm thinking she should be okay to have the calf by herself. Now I'll be, it's uh, about eight, eight o'clock at night when I'm doing this. And I'll be back out milking at four o'clock in the morning. So I think, I think I'll be able to, to watch her. I might come out a little bit through the night uh, and just make sure she's okay, especially if it starts storming. Uh, but she's, she is, uh, she's definitely full. So we're going to kind of keep an eye on her. I'm sorry, the light again between the flashlight and just no, no light, <laughs> uh, kind of a bad quality video, but again, just, uh, we're on cattle watch again, calf watch, and we'll be milking two. Um, for the last two or three days, we've been acting like we've been milking two anyway, because we've been bringing her in the stanchion and kind of making sure that she is you know back to her old routine she is so sweet and she's done great so um i think tomorrow the next day they will be having a calf to to join us in the party so i get excited <laughs> Max, join us today. We're going to go to a greenhouse, pick up some stuff for our orchard. So, uh, I'm excited about it. So excited. Supporting their shirts. Buds and blues. Woo -woo. Well, it's been hard because we're just, we were trying to be conservative, but so far we've got three apples. Four. Four apples and a fig. And we're trying to find a peach that we want and there's it's such a huge variety we're just trying to decide we've been using our state extension service and pulling up ones that are do well in our area that are native to our area so we're going through and we're just looking at what they have and what's going to do best for us using that service and i'm just trying to narrow it down and then we're going to the herb section even though my husband don't know that yet to get me some more parsley We're not going to plant today just because it's been flooding and it's supposed to get really cold but we did go ahead and get all the uh the trees that we wanted from the nursery what's so cool look at our bees they're robbing that honey to me it's almost like true permaculture and i know that it really doesn't reflect to bees but what's so cool is we are basically allowing bees to pollinate they're pollinating our you know flowers and vegetables and fruit and all those etc we're taking their honey and their wax using what we can out of that turn around put it back out there for them to clean up and get whatever else we didn't get for them to reuse to put right back into the hives that we will rob next how crazy is that that is that's amazing to me i know that doesn't blow people's mind but it blows my mind so we're happy about that so we've got some apples some figs uh, we've got a peach everything cross-pollinating that way we are ready to rock. Kind of last thing on the, the agenda today, even though, cause it is flooding and we're trying to get everything inside. 
Uh, bees are doing great. They're eating off some of that old honey uh, comb that was no good. So we're gonna let them finish that. But this is our orchard. We're standing in our orchard. We have about, we have one, two, three, four. We have three peach trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue blueberries. Six, seven, about five or six. Uh, two blackberries, one raspberry, two fig. And a, and a musky dime. So that all kind of stays right here. This is really our our first initial. We had two apples. We lost one and then the other one. I think it's not going to make it either. But we, we've got about six or seven more to go into this orchard. But here's what we're going to do. We've been letting it be, be fed by our chickens. So they're rooting around in it, making it fertilized really well as we get to the early part of the season. We've got to move them to the other side of it because we've got a few that are not in there. Uh, I know it, it actually is a very nice, productive uh, orchard. It just doesn't look like it right now because it's winter. But uh, we're going to get them moved. Uh, I think it's going to be good and get it fixed. And uh, like I said, get them around the rest of the stuff. Might as well let them use the tiller. They've tilled our garden up. It's too wet to put them back in it for right now. So we're going to let them just tear this ground up all around this fruit. That way it'd be ready to plant and also grow us uh, this already here. So uh, really a great way to feed your garden use your chickens and a great way to feed your orchard to use chickens chicken mama with her chicken boots we've got to get the rest of our trees in with the um, chicken so that's what we're just going to do right. well, the rain has caught us missy's going to get a bucket we're going to go and pull these greens up the ones that are still good and doing well we can have greens for the rest of our year easily until next season with what we've got even got some turnips in there too so we're gonna start pulling up the good ones leave the other ones because pretty much we'll let the chickens come in and till all this up and i get it ready for late fall next year but um last thing we're gonna do is pull this up get this finished watch it rain get a cup of coffee and enjoy the night all right we're getting ready for supper and uh one of the birds have made it to the dinner table uh-uh -oh. i had to take an early shower because <laughs> i was cleaning up outside and oh my gosh well we ready to eat for all our hard work are you tired are you hungry are you hungry mm -hmm. 